Poison P by Wiley Levins, illustrated by Steve Cox. Once upon a spooky time, a king and queen ruled a small kingdom. Their castle stood at the edge of the dark forest. The king and the queen had only one son. It's time for you to marry, said the king to his son. We must find you a real princess, said the queen. All the king's knights jumped on their horses. They raced through the kingdom and beyond. The prince is looking for a princess, they shouted. Soon girls from lands far and wide arrived at the castle. Pick me, pick me, they shouted. Not so fast, said the king. You must prove that you are a real princess, warned the queen. Chills ran down the girls' spines. Many dashed away. The queen took the girls that remained to the special rooms in the castle. Each room had a princess-sized bed. On each bed was a stack of ten large mattresses. Underneath the ten large mattresses, the queen placed a tiny pea. But these were no ordinary peas. They were peas were poison. If you are not a real princess, the queen whispered to herself, you will die by morning. The queen tucked in all the girls and turned out the lights. Pleasant dreams, she cackled. The next morning, a pile of bones lay on each bed. I knew these girls weren't real princesses, laughed the queen. Week after week, girl after girl came to the castle, and every morning, the king and queen were greeted with another pile of bones. The prince didn't care. He only wanted the most beautiful and real princess in the land to be his bride. Silly girls, he said, you can't trick us. One cold and stormy night, the prince heard a knock on the castle door. Who would come here this late, he asked. Slowly, he opened the large creaky door. There stood a skinny girl dressed in rags. Her clothes were soaked, her hair dripped and dropped around her face. Who are you? sneered the prince. I'm the only real princess in the land, said the girl. My kingdom was stolen from my family years ago. Now I live in a hut in the dark forest. The queen swooped in to see the girl. She's fake, she scowled. Send her to bed. At least we'll have a small bag of bones to collect by morning. The prince took the girl to her room and locked the door. But the girl was clever. She spotted the pea under the mattress and carefully slipped it into her back. Then she crawled into bed and fell asleep. Everyone was so shocked to see the girl, girl uh, arrive the next morning. How can this be? asked the king. She can't be a real princess, snickered the queen. I won't marry her, cried the prince. The girl only smiled. Thank you for the good night's sleep, she said. Let me make your breakfast feast. The girl hurried to the kitchen. She grabbed a big pot and used tasty ingredients. Then she added something special to the bubbling mixture. This smells wonderful, said the king. What is it? asked the queen. It's a secret recipe, said the girl. The king and the queen grabbed their spoons and slurped it down. I hope you enjoyed my special pea soup, hissed the girl. And minutes later, the king and the queen turned into a pile of bones. That'll teach you to steal my father's kingdom, said the girl. I promised I would get it back some day. So what happened to the prince? The princess let him stay in the castle. And she gave him a very special job. She made him her royal toilet cleaner. 
and nothing could be more real. The end.